My name is Luchi Carrier and I am inspired. I'm marching today and running for office tomorrow and so should you. I'm joining hundreds of women across the country who are doing the same thing, taking the plunge. I am going to try to change the complexion of the Maryland legislature. Let me start by quoting Eleanor Roosevelt, an inspiration to us all. You should say to yourself, I have lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. These words resonate today because we've lived through the horror of the November 2016 elections. And we are still suffering the consequences of electing an anti-woman, anti-minority, anti-immigrant president. The Women's March was inspiration, in, inspirational to say the least, making history. It was the thing that women dared to do and it succeeded beyond everybody's wildest imagination. What was the march about? It was for peace, justice, and equality. It heralded the creation of a social movement for social progress. And this tidal wave has woken up a sleeping giant, and that is you. Thousands and thousands of women activists and hundreds of grassroots groups have erected a wall of resistance to the repressive policies of this administration. We honor the legacy of movements before us, the suffragists, the abolitionists, the civil rights movement, the feminist movement, the American Indian movement, the Occupy Wall Street movement, marriage equality, Black Lives Matter, and more. And we stand in solidarity with the 800,000 dreamers who are threatened in their homes today. The only home they have ever known. And we stand with Blanche Parenthood. A shout out for Blanche Parenthood. What is the source of this surge in activism a year out? It is women. Women are just fed up. Women are fed up that we make up only 20% of Congress. Women are fed up with sexual harassment. Women are fed up with Donald Trump. And women are fighting back. A festering wound of bigotry, misogyny, and exploitation lies exposed today. The healing can only happen if women take charge of their own destiny. If women occupy those same bastions of power from which they have been exploited. The last time the U.S. saw a surge in women running for office was 1992 in the wake of Anita Hill's testimony. It was called the Year of the Woman because women were elected to the U.S. House and Senate in record numbers. It is only when the power dynamic changes and women have a greater say and sway in politics and in the workplace that the exploitation of women will stop. The mantra of hashtag me has to now move to hashtag I ran and hashtag I won. We are seeing already more women running, more women voting for women, more women turning out to vote. It makes women change agents. Let's say it. It makes women change agents and a powerful part of the formula for 2018 race, uh, races. The organization, She Should Run, a 
announcing July that it was launching a national campaign to achieve gender parity among America's elected officials by the year 2030. That involves galvanizing women to fill 250,000 of the nation's almost 500,000 elected positions. Let us resolve to make that happen. 1992 was the year of women. Let us make 2018 the beginning of the decade of women.